Hi, John here from fly8mikealpha.com. Today we're going to be looking at how to depart a non-towered airport, a pilot-controlled airport, uh, from within Class D airspace, from within the airspace of another controlled airport. So you're going to be taking off and you're immediately entering controlled airspace and you need to be talking to that tower somehow. So we're going to look at all the radio calls to make when you're on the ground at that non-towered airport, what radio calls to make as soon as you take off, and what radio calls to make after you take off. We're taking off out of 4-3 Golf, Belleville Field, and we're flying through the Class Delta airspace of Willow Run Airport, KYIP, right there. So as we take off out of here off runway 33, we're going to be heading to the northwest towards Ann Arbor. We'll contact the tower actually before we take off out of Belleville, and then of course we'll be talking to them after departure. As always, any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy the video. Ann Arbor Tower, right turn northbound approved, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Rare contact, clock 0164, and climbing at 1,000, 100. Oh. Traffic flying around here. Go ahead and call Belleville Traffic. Let them know what we're going to be doing. Belleville Traffic, Scott 1530 Yankee, back taxi runway 33, Belleville. Once again, just clear final approach runway 33 and go ahead and back taxi on the grass. Pulling back with the yoke, trying to uh, keep weight off the nose wheel. Taxi across the soft ground. All right, so we've already done our engine run-up. We're lined up here on runway 33, ready to go. We'll go ahead and call Willow Run. So as the regs read, you contact the control tower as soon as practical. Basically, in our case, that means on the ground. We can actually talk to them with positive two-way radio communication, get that clearance into the Class Delta airspace via that two-way radio communication while we're still on the ground. We don't have to be airborne to talk to them. Oftentimes, there may be hills or trees or a weak radio, and you may have to be airborne to talk to them. In that case, you would simply wait until you're established in climbing flight and you're not flustered, your flaps are already retracted, everything's stable, and you're uh, flying the airplane and then after you fly the airplane, navigate the airplane, then you would communicate with the tower as soon as practical. And if that means you have to wait till four or five, six hundred feet in the air, then that's okay. But since we're taking off right into the arrival course of runway uh, five at Willow Run, we're gonna wanna contact them on the ground since we can. Uh, since we're in their service class Delta and uh, let them know what we're gonna be doing. Willow Run Tower, Scott 1538 Yankee. 1538 Yankee, go ahead. Scott 153 Yankee on the ground at Belleville, be departing runway 33 westbound Ann Arbor. 3 Yankee, roger, take off and be at your own risk. Winds will run 260 Take off on risk, Class Delta Transit approved, 3 Yankee. So we're good to uh, go through their Class Delta now, heading westbound Ann Arbor. We'll switch over to uh, Belleville frequency here, 122.9, and make a quick departure call. We'll go ahead and monitor, we'll run while we're doing that. And yeah, Belleville traffic, Scott 153 at Yankee, departing runway 33, Belleville traffic. Switch back over to uh, Willow Run, talk to them, and monitor Belleville CPAF. Quick report takeoff checklist, our windows and doors are latched, fuel selector valves on both. Vents check. Probe and landing lights are on. And our runway heading checks with RDG, we're on the proper runway. Soft fuel takeoff here. No brakes, fly full power, getting as much weight off the nose wheel as possible. We'll pull as hard as we can, try to get the ground effect as soon as possible. Control in direction with rudder. And now we're in ground effect, staying nice and low to the ground until we hit our VX of 65, then climbing out at 65. Once we have proper airspeed and we are accelerating, have positive rate of climb, we can go ahead and retract our flaps. We'll go ahead and make a gentle turn westbound on course to Ann Arbor. 
accelerating to our VY of 80 miles per hour. Great off traffic, Skyhawk 5253 Charlie is four miles from the south, coming in for a long downwind approach for runway 23. Correction 27. 5253 Charlie. So we'll simply fly along here on our way over to Ann Arbor and either expect a frequency change at some point before or after we exit the Class Delta airspace. We could ask for a frequency change before we exit the Class Delta airspace or shortly thereafter to get a uh, handoff over to Ann Arbor. Or we could simply just change frequencies over to Ann Arbor as we exit the Willow Run Class Delta airspace and proceed into the Ann Arbor Class Delta airspace. Once you're clear of Class Delta airspace, you no longer have to uh, talk to them. You can just switch over your radio. However, it is a good idea, good practice to ask for a frequency change or get that handoff. The reason being, what if you just change your radio over and there happens to be traffic at one o'clock and one mile and he was just about to tell you right before you changed your radio, but if you go ahead and ask for the frequency change, that'll cue him up to let you know about any traffic very close to you or even that you might run into somewhere down the road after you change frequencies and are off his radar screen. So good idea to go ahead and do that. We'll proceed over to Ann Arbor and check out the other videos of how to come into Class Delta airspace to know how to call up a Class Delta tower, get the ATIS, and proceed into a Class Delta airport like Ann Arbor. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Leave your questions and comments in the boxes below. Check out our website. Remember, fly every day, fly8mikealpha.com. See you later. Detroit on 1895, Great, thank you. Have a good one.